Hi lovelies and welcome to the Witch's Cookery. Today I would like to share some ideas for a seasonal summer witchcraft with you. As a witch, nature is very dear to my heart and I do try and live in tune with the seasons in all aspects of my life, taking inspiration from the naturally occurring life cycles and themes of each month. Starting with Lunasa, a time of harvest and abundance is beginning. The fields and gardens are ripe with fruit and grain. Nature is rich with a bounty of fresh vegetables, colorful flowers, fragrant herbs and sweet berries. So it is not surprising that I also take summer as a wonderfully fitting time to work abundance spells and prosperity magic. And of course, to enjoy and harvest what I have gained through the earlier efforts. One thing I like to harvest during the summer that is naturally very scarce in winter is solar energy, both for my witchcraft practice and mundane enjoyment. Before the cooler, mist-filled autumn days roll around with their heavy rain clouds, I make it a priority to utilize the energy of the sun in every way I can think of. Not only does being out in a natural light boost our mood, lift our spirits and give us a healthy portion of vitamin D, but there's also all sorts of magic that can be found here. A lot of witches follow lunar cycles, but seem to forget that the sun cycles carry potential for spellwork too. Of course, there are the big celebrations in the solar year like Litha and Yule, but apart from that, you can actually use multiple corresponding energies to the sun in just one day that you can incorporate into your magic. Morning walks during sunrise can be used for a new beginnings ritual or to boost any growth component in your spell work. Midday sun is all about intensity, power and gain. As the shadows shrink towards noon and make space for the bright light, you might want to consider any sort of finding the truth spell or do a negative energy cleansing. Sitting down in the quiet hours of sunset offer a perfect opportunity for any sort of releasing ritual. Acceptance and spells to calm the heart and mind might work in tune with the natural energies too. So what else can you witch up with solar energy? Well, if you're into crystals at all, some people believe that you can charge or cleanse them in bright sunlight. And of course, we can also use the physical properties of the heat of the sun to cool down with some kitchen witchery. A delicious, cold-infused sun tea filled with the flavors of summer, sweetened with a bit of local honey and poured in an ice glass, is bound to give you that refreshing kick of summer magic on especially hot days. I find it to be a lovely and flavorful alternative to my iced coffee in the mornings when I sit down to do my daily bit of abundance magic. Very simple yet super powerful. Practicing gratitude. That can be in form of gratitude journaling, writing down all the little things I'm grateful for or just mindfully picking a peaceful five minutes alone to realize the things that give me joy in that very moment or to meditate on the positivity and good things in my life in general. In my opinion, prosperity or abundance is relative and dependent on your mindset. We often are so busy chasing what we supposedly need that we don't even realize how rich we are in the little conveniences and joys. Mindfully realizing them makes for a happy heart and happy mind that has a much easier time to attract and cultivate more of the same. If you are a green witch and enjoy gardening or wild foraging, the harvest aspect this time of year comes quite literally for you. Where I live, the 15th of August is a bank holiday, the Liebfrauentag or Maria Himmelfahrt, and marks the start of the Frauendreisige, which translates to the ladies' 30 days. The following 30 days are used to collect herbs that, so it is believed, now have intense healing and magic powers as they are filled with this sun energy. The collected plants will then be made into natural remedies, healing potions and traditional smoke and herb bundles for folk practices throughout the winter month. The evening before the day is traditionally dedicated to collecting the Würzbüschel or Kräuterbuschen, a herb bundle consisting of a magical number of herbs. 
Depending on region, there will be 7, 9, 12, 24 or 33 different herbs involved. A string is then wrapped around them, again using a mystical number that is supposed to bring healing, prosperity or blessings. The middle of the bundle usually consists of Mullen or Mary's candle, how it is called in German, sacred to Patrona Bavaria, the matron saint of the area. The rest of the bundle consists of local plants that are prescribed protective and evil warding properties. On the day, the bundle is blessed and then hung in the house to dry. It is used mainly for protective magic during sickness, storms, fires and for good luck, and will be burned in half fire or strewn in bits around the property. A lovely little bit of summer folk magic to help you keep abundance and flourishing prosperity in the house. This time of year is also when I usually take stock of my apothecary of herbs. Being a kitchen and cottage witch, most of my selections are edible plants that I collect for seasoning, tea making or the occasional enchanted DIY beauty product or natural floor wash. But especially throughout December and January, I also enjoy fragrant scents in the traditional smoke cleansing blends. So I'm making bundles for the Rauhnächte, the 12 days of Christmas, as well as the holidays on Wheel of Year. The bundle that you see me make here will be used during my Samhain retreat ritual to honor the harvest of the summer while opening the heart and mind to the spirit of community. Of course, summer is also there to enjoy the fruits of your labor, letting your hair down and just soaking up the lively, vibrant energy. Might it now be with a cool drink on some city terrace or in the solitude of a little sandy lake beach with a good book, before we all retreat to the sheltering warmth of our houses in winter. The harvest aspect of the season is also about harvesting happy memories that you can fondly remember when you need to conjure up a bit of joy on a grey day. Personally, during the summer holiday period, I like to work with a bucket list of fun things I would like to do to set time aside and escape the constant hustle. Especially with all my new projects, I want my little witchlings to remember summers full of adventure and family time and magic of long evenings, not summers of mom working at the computer and then being parked in front of the TV. Say I if uh, you know the mom guilt too. <laughs> And speaking of a beautiful harvest, we shall of course not forget about the food, because there is so much yumminess to be found in gardens and farmers markets now. Colorful peppers, plum tomatoes, huge squash and all that other healthy stuff that we can with a bit of magic and intention transform into a piece of summer kitchen witchery to tighten family bonds and community or to bring love, laughter and happiness in your circle of friends or family. My personal favorite way to do so is by making cooking and eating an experience and team effort. And warm summer days offer the perfect opportunity for that when you can indulge in a group picnic or barbecue and cook outside over an open fire. Everyone chips in a little with their skills or energies. Making the fire, preparing the food, setting the table, picking some flowers as a centerpiece or providing some fun laughter and stories. Never underestimate the magical powers of a communal meal to create bonds, memories and positive feelings towards each other. And having a basket filled with seasonal goodies to prepare and share makes my heart so full and my belly happy. In the summer, I do prefer lighter dishes, often plant-based and chock full of vitamins and color. Other kitchen witch choice to do in the summer during harvest season include, of course, preparing and preserving. Pickling, canning, freezing, brewing, drying, fermenting, all the things that make your kitchen smell like home and feel like Granny's Alchemist Lab for cottage core yumminess. I love to directly cook those happy summer memories of berry picking in the forest into spiced jams, brewing honey and apples into a mead full of intention for sweetness and love, and seasoning sauces and parade soups with comfort for the ones that will eat them when the rain is knocking on the windows in late autumn. 
I think one of my favorite Kitchen Witch activities for this year was to make different infused sugars or salts, as you can use them in almost every meal to sprinkle in that extra bit of magic. In order to do so, you just grind the sugar or salt with a fresh ingredient, spread it out on a baking paper until it is dry and then bottle it. For example, I infused salt with lemon zest, wild garlic, herb mixtures, flowers, lavender and rosemary. And sugar with lilac, rose petals, vanilla, dried apple, orange peel and lime. As for other magical summer activities to live in tune with the seasonal energies, going on holiday or taking the time to rest and relaxation is also a way to harvest what you have worked and hustled hard for during the rest of the year. And you don't need to book yourself a fancy trip to Europe just to experience that summer magic. Trying little things that you would usually not do in your daily routine can really give you a boost of happy energy and let you experience that abundant joy of life and the appreciation of living in the here and now. I still remember the special magic that summer held when I was a child. While there were definitely trips to foreign countries and days at the beach, the most vivid memories are the ones of little things. Three popsicles a day snook from granny's fridge, staying up late at a barbecue party with the neighbors, sleepovers in a moth-eaten tent in your friend's garden, swimming in a lake, reading all afternoon in the shade while sipping lemonade, or laying between the apple trees, stargazing on clear summer nights. Being very present and mindful with these things carries its own magic and with it the potential for a very powerful happiness spell, while again fostering that sense of abundance in your heart. And it is important to remember that what makes your personal summer magical can look very different to what it looks like for other people or for people on Instagram. In the end, it is about living your best life with what is realistic for you, accepting your reality and making the most of it. The things you dream about have no potential to make you happy in the here and now. Only the things you go out and do in this very moment. So have a think, what would shake up your day-to-day -day life with the most magical little summer adventure spirit? Maybe cooking outside? Camping in your garden or balcony with lots and lots of fairy lights under the full moon? Stripping off your shoes and running through the sprinklers in the park on a warm summer evening? Having a swim or making your own ice cream the old-fashioned way? Live and appreciate the abundance of the little everyday things, because they are what makes life special and memorable. Often we have such big dreams of things we wish we had or wish we could do, but then would we really do them if they were available to us, if we don't even do the amazing little things that are possible and obtainable to us now? Because we always keep chasing bigger dreams? Just some food for thoughts and a little reminder to slow down, be grateful, be mindful and enjoy what you can. What does your seasonal summer witchcraft practice looks like? And how are you calling abundance and prosperity into your life? Have a magical week and I shall see you very soon with some witchy inspiration from the south of Spain.